nicely. In today's news for you, self-employed retirement challenges and solutions. Pat Struby is a financial expert with preservation specialist and author of Save Your Retirement. And in fact, may I also add, in USA Today, you had an article there where you were quoted on this issue. Yeah. First of all, for those who are self-employed, what are some of the challenges they face as far as reaching that retirement that they would like? You know, retirement's a challenge for anyone. Um, being self-employed makes it unique because you don't usually have a steady paycheck every single pay period. You could have income going up and down, um, surprises. Uh, the economy can really affect your your uh, your income. So, um, in ad additional challenges more than just anyone that has a regular salary. And they can be so focused on selling their product that they forget what they've got to remember for 50 years down the road or so. That's right, and it's not usual for someone to have a big sale of their business to provide for their retirement, so it's important to be saving all along, too. I found statistics out of that USA Today article that, you, that where you're a part of. 83% of self-employed who say they are saving for retirement said at some point they had to stop or even cut back. Yeah. Whereas, like, for those of us in a job like this with a 401k, we know every month something's going into it. That's right, and we'll talk about the three steps we have, and one of them is to make sure you have a retirement plan so, so you have something going in. Let's go to that. Your solutions here... Have as we talk about the challenges, reduce debt, establish a retirement plan, and save regularly. So reducing debt, start with that one, Pat. Well, that's important for anyone, but a lot of people, when they're starting a business or becoming self-employed, uh, go into debt to, do, to get into that position. So it makes it that much more important to try and eliminate that and not carry that into retirement. And a lot of people just don't realize there are actually good retirement plans that could be available to them. Yes, uh, and that's one of the big things is it, there's so many things other than a 401k. You don't have to be part of a big employer to have a retirement plan. So it's finding that information, whether you, you want to dig it out on your own or find a financial advisor to help uh, and, get a plan in place. And as far as establishing, it, establishing that retirement plan, I, I would assume you would say that should be just as much a part of the uh, business plan as getting the door open. Monday morning today. Yes, yes. Once the business is open, that should be immediate to have something there. And then when you're going to have, if you're going to have employees, then of course you want to have benefits for them to benefit from too. Talk about your last point then, save regularly. That's, that's kind of piggybacking on the retirement plan. Um, it's a little unique as a self-employed person. You can have a retirement plan set up but not really be doing anything with it. So mm -hmm. uh, it's important to have something established and then have it either payroll deducted or have it coming out of your bank account every month. It's so good if you get, get it in that savings before it's in your hand, right? You don't feel it as much if it goes directly into something. It's night and day. Yeah, night otherwise day. you're going to want to spend it on sprucing up your business more and all that. Spend on anything else. All right. Good information. Thank you so much. And to watch the full interview again with Pat Struby, follow me on Twitter at Dondi WIS TV. Also click like on my Facebook page, Dondi Mercer Plank WIS TV. You'll find my daily interviews here, including this one with Pat. Thanks so much.